Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft Mesafide server and I don't think I've ever been so happy to start recording an episode because today I have some terrific news to share with all of you. Indeed, I have been waiting to talk about this for so long, I've been hinting at it in my streams and in my videos, I've been saying, hey I've been a busy bee and I've been wanting to tell you why and I haven't been able to because I thought I would wait until it is set in stone, 100% definite which is what it now is. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I have uh, found a new place to live. I found a house. I talked about this a long, long time ago, and it has taken a long time to get to this point, but finally, get away from me, guy. <laughs> we can talk about it. So, as of today, when you're watching this video, I will probably be in the house doing all sorts of bits and bobs, moving things in, decorating, all that sort of stuff, and so today's episode will be a talky one and I'm going to tell you all about the adventures of finding a house while we do some caving there he is right there he's 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 creeping in the shadows he, there yeah he knows we've spotted him now okay so I imagine some of you actually probably don't really want to hear this so if that is you then I will get the things that you probably want to hear about out of the way straight away this will undoubtedly affect making videos for a while, but I don't think it's going to impact it in too much of a noticeable or negative way. I'm going to manage my time very well so that I keep on top of YouTube. There is just one sacrifice that I think I'm going to make, which is Hermitcraft. And when I say sacrifice, don't get all panicky. I'm talking about reducing the amount of videos that we do a week from three till two. So one less video a week. These might also be a bit more collab oriented or stuff like that you know things that take a little bit less time to record at the moment because I will be as I said busy with the new house now there are other series that are going to be running on the channel earlier today you would have seen the beginning of Hermit Wars which was put together by Iskow and a great team of mod makers and builders so if you saw that in your sub box or you didn't go check it out because it is an extremely cool PvP event that is going on and that will be running for the next couple of weeks. So you've got that to look forward to. I'm going to be streaming as normal. I'm going to be doing my videos as normal. The other thing that's probably going to take a little bit of a hit for a while is sort of technical videos, tutorials, and myth busting. That sort of stuff. You might not see that for a month or two because moving in, all the things that I've got to do is going to take a lot of time. But I'll assure you, it is going to be completely worth it in the long run. I, uh, I do lose a lot of time to... You know, living in a house for other people, there are issues with recording because of noise, and this is going to eliminate all of them. I'm obviously going to be ecstatic having my own place to live in, so there are all sorts of positives happening at the moment. And I would like some more positives right now. I want to find some diamonds. <laughs> I am hoping to find some diamonds while we're out here. We don't actually need diamonds, it's redstone that I'm after, and I've already picked up some of that anyway. So yeah, um, things are going to be sort of like normal, just a little less... Little, little, a little less techie stuff and a little less Hermitcraft and then after a couple of months we should be all back to normal. But I do want to just say an enormous thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's, it's always hard to make these speeches I find, but you know, YouTube has been an incredible experience for me. It's been a life changing one. It's made all sorts of things possible like getting a home. A few years ago before this was my full time job, that was just some crazy dream that it looked like I'd never be able to own uh, a home in this day and age. And somehow all of that has been turned around by your amazing support on this channel. So a big thank you to all of you for tuning in and watching the videos. It's, uh, it's a real positive thing, isn't it? It's, all you have to do is watch. <laughs> and you make good things happen for someone else. So thank you to all of you, really do appreciate it. I've said it many times before, this is my passion, making videos. I want to do it for a long time. You know, maybe not forever, maybe there'll be a day when I get a little bit tired of it, but um, for the longest time I can see ahead of me right now, this is my passion, I love doing this, and I want to keep giving to you guys who have, in a way, given me so much, because, you know, now I've got my own place, and it certainly wouldn't have been possible without YouTube. I thought I saw a little something up here. There's a cave here. Let's go this way. And yeah, it's been truly tremendous. So I have been looking for the longest time. I actually went and looked up the video where I spoke to all of you guys and sort of said, oh, this is just a dead end. Let's start mining again anyway. I, uh, I said to all of you, 
um, talked about my situation, said I was looking for a place and it's taken a very long time. The episode in which I had my first little chat about this and sort of told you guys what my situation was, what I was looking at, was episode 363. So that's over like, what, 100 and... I, I, I can't do the numbers because I've forgotten what episode we're on. Um, but 150 episodes ago, something like that. It's been over 450 days, so well over a year. And that was on the early days of Season 3 Hermitcraft. So it really has been a very long time since we talked about this last, I guess. I basically talked about it the once, then decided, I don't want to, you know, bore you guys with this. I am going to go sort this out and get back to you one day and see, like, yep, yeah, okay, we've got a house. It's time to move to the next stage. So there are so many things I want to talk about right now, and I'm remembering other things as I'm chatting. I am going to share the experience with you guys of moving into my place. You you have all made it possible. I hear some spiders up above. That can mean a cave. Um, yeah, you have all made this possible. So I feel like I want to share the experience a little bit and make some videos. So tomorrow, I believe, you will see a video on the channel of where I have currently been recording from from the last few years. I can hear a lot of spiders. I think they're this way. Yeah, that... Oh, there you go. I can hear a lot of spiders. What's the betting that we found a spider spawner? Cool. I like this. This is cool. There might be some good loot for us to pick up from the chest. Uh, that looks like the edge over there. So you'll be getting a video of the previous place that I've been recording in. And then you'll be getting videos of my new place, which I'm going to put on the main channel. So... That's a lot of spiders. I'll just stand here and bob them. Now in UHC, when you're standing this close to them, they always hit you through the wall. But we're not playing UHC right now, so I reckon that they won't. Sod's law, you know. Look, I'm even standing closer and I'm pretty sure that guy just nudged me. So yeah, you are going to get videos of uh, the new place. How it's going to go down is I will... Oh, now I've taken damage. Or got hit or something like that. I will put up a video of uh, the new place, like before I do anything, I'm just going to sort of document the place. Uh, that's sort of for my own personal reason as well, you know, it'd be nice to, as time goes by, go back and look at how the house looked when you first moved in. So I'm going to make a video of that, a tour around the house, I am going to share that with all of you, and then more likely, hi, quickly kill it, quickly kill it, yes. <laughs> that's how you play this game. Um, <laughs> when I... Yeah, when I decorate the place and start, you know, creating an office, I'll probably do the office tour on this channel, but then some of the other stuff, like maybe my bedroom and all the other rooms that I need to decorate, I'm going to do that on my second channel, so you guys can um, check out what's going on over there. Of course, second channel, you like the sound of that, description box, channel page has a link to it as well, if ever you want to go search that up and subscribe. The second channel is for like bonus content, like extra UHCs, it's got live stream uploads, and it will have a few extra things on there as well. Now I've just noticed something. I was looking forward to finding a chest <laughs> and this one doesn't have a chest. That kind of sucks. Well, see you later. We will uh, we will go continue mining then. We were on a path then we heard the spiders and I guess we will continue on this path. This is what we're looking for really, redstone. So yeah, you'll get to experience I guess some of the redecorating and again this is this has all been made possible by YouTube so it feels like a really cool thing to share that and it also sort of documents the evolution of the house. I don't think I really need to pick up this coal, we'll just we'll keep on moving for now. I came here prepared by the way, I've got torches, look at this, I've got some wood. What I don't have is my pick to break down the coal so we can make more torches, but otherwise we are set for some good old branch mining, not doing the poke coal here. I'm actually hoping to just travel and eventually find a cave because that's more interesting. And for a second there I thought we might have just made a cave. Nope, we've got to keep our ears peeled for mobs. So anyway, I want to talk about finding the house because I've been looking for a long time. The market is kind of crazy right now. So let's say you want to get an apartment, which is not what I want to get. I want to get a house. It's a much better investment. Um, I also feel like I'm living in an apartment already. So I really want to sort of move up. And the price range where I live is kind of crazy. If you are close to London, um, there is like this circle effect around London. The further out you go, the cheaper it gets. But I kind of want to stay here because everything and everyone I know is here. And that's how I like it to an extent. So to stay in this area is going to be quite costly. And there's this really crazy like market where the difference between getting, let's say, like a two-bedroom apartment and a house 
is next to nothing. So whatever your budget is, you like you look a little bit further ahead, and all of a sudden, you know, there's houses. And so a little bit further beyond that, there's houses with let's say three bedrooms, and you know, just it's all squeezed together. It's like there's not a massive price difference between a two-bedroom like apartment and like a four-bedroom house. So it's it's kind of crazy. Anyway, I'm looking at a lot of places on the market. A few things sort of fall into my price range. And then when I was looking at some really bad properties one day, we rung up about another one on the website, which I've been looking at for a long time, thinking I would love to live there because I lived in that area when I was a kid. Um, it's really nice. There's lots of greenery there, which is, hey, diamonds. That's terrific. And it had always been out of my price range. But it just so happened on the day that I was um, looking at a few places and looking at the website that they had actually dropped it the price down and into the next price range and apparently the homeowners were very keen to sell the house and I believe I was the first and possibly only person to look at this property so I rang at the right time right as they dropped the house I immediately went and viewed it and after we had a little chat and it was like yep we should put a bid on this house and we did it and then a few days later, I got a phone call. They said, um, you know, the house, they've accepted your, your bid. Technically, the house is yours if we go through with everything. And I fist pumped, okay? I was out and about. I was walking down the street, and I just stopped and went, yes, and started fist pumping. I probably looked like a nutter. Uh, I felt absolutely ecstatic. I'm like, we've done it. This is, like, my dream house. I can't believe that they've accepted the offer and then it took a very long time this is this is like two months ago this is when I really wanted to start talking about it and I had to keep my mouth shut because I figured I don't want to sort of say this all this stuff's happening and then turn around and be like oh something's happened now it's not that would kind of suck so I wanted to wait until this was definite and it is now definite which is incredible it's amazing so yeah we went through a very tedious process of you know getting everything sorted out I had to wait a little bit for a mortgage because I I um, needed two years of accounts and, and things like this because I am self-employed and there are all these little delays cropping up so it's quite funny because after I spoke to the estate agents and said like oh it's taken so long all these little barriers are in the way and he was sort of saying well even so in this day and age it's very good to get um, a house transferred in just you know six to eight weeks and I guess that's kind of true it just could have happened quicker now I was lucky because I'm a first-time buyer and the the place was vacant so it wasn't part of a chain what a chain is is where you have to wait for somewhere else in the chain to sort of finish and then all of the people in the chain then move into their new houses and so you wait on a lot of other stuff so I've been very fortunate I've also waited a long time you know it's taken me over a year to, to find this place and it's kind of perfect it's kind of ideal there were only like a few other places that I thought would be better um, this would have been like right up there on my list though so I feel very fortunate and blessed which I do every day because I get to do this for a living which is just crazy so again thank you to all of you um, and also I want to do say a massive thank you to everyone who has like supported me monetarily as well twitch donations and uh, my patrons have made this possible without a doubt um, they've obviously made a significant contribution to what I do. I hope that is going to be like an investment for them because now my content, I'm hoping, will be able to get better. I'll be able to do more things for you guys. And yeah, it's made a huge difference over these months to helping me get to where I'm going. And it's going to be extremely exciting from this point on. Um, I have budgeted for making myself a studio and it is just going to be one heck of an adventure. Like moving out, living on your own, and then doing your dream job from home as well. It is just going to be absolutely amazing. So we're back at base. I pretty much turned around after recording that clip. As you might tell with the things that are going on at the moment, uh, this video will be a little bit shorter than usual, so I wasn't uh, planning on mining for too long. But look at this. We got a lot of redstone because on the way back I decided to uh, make some poke holes in the tunnel that we made and I found some more redstone which is fantastic this is the stuff that we're in desperate need of right now let's go have a look at my supply actually over here you'll see down to 32 blocks of redstone and of course all of this right here uh, but they were all reserved originally I like to lay out chests like this so you've got you know a rough eye well a reserve amount of different things yeah anyway a thought crossed my mind on the way back which was the amount of stuff that you have now 
this is, I don't know, like this is just something I experienced with packing all of my stuff to move. I would not have thought I had so much stuff. I've got some things in the attic that I've forgotten about. You know, I've got cupboards in my room. But when you start, like, putting everything into cardboard boxes and getting it ready to move, it all of a sudden starts to look like a heck of a lot of stuff. And one of the things I want to do is get rid of the things that I don't really need, you know, because it's easy to hold on to stuff and it basically takes up space and you'll never use it. So that's something that I wanted to do, but it was just the thought I wanted to share. Like, I have some cupboards and stuff in my room and it really doesn't feel like there's a lot of stuff when you just look at it, but then when you start putting it in the boxes, all of a sudden it all gets a, a lot bigger, which is kind of crazy. Anyway, what we're going to do for the rest of this episode is fight the wither. And some of you will be going, no, you've got 530 levels on you. Don't worry about that. We've been over at the farm. We can always get those back very easily. XP is pretty much disposable once you've got a farm, you know. I might die and lose 550 levels, but... All i got to do is go back to that farm for a little bit and I'll be able to enchant again. So it's really no bother. Um, but we're going to fight, I believe, two withers. I'm going to buy some wither skulls or maybe take a trip to the farm and try and get some myself. And then I want to kill them both as quick as I can. And we're going to use the two beacons that I have to try and make the fight a little bit easier on ourselves. I don't even know where we're going to fight this thing yet now that I think about it. Um, and yeah, and we're also going to use our axe again, which we did last time, but I didn't really prepare the fight very well. If we drink our strength straight away and use this Smite 5 axe on the Wither, it is going to do an immense amount of damage. So the plan is to kill two Withers as quick as we can. And look at that, tons and tons of redstone. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's get this crafted up and put into that chest. Oh, that is too good. I just flew over here to look at the Wither Skull prices. I thought I saw another player. It's just it's just an iron golem having a good time on his bouncy castle. He's loving it. Look at him. <laughs> oh, that's terrific. Well, there are only three skulls left, and I was thinking if these cost six each, I will probably just get the three of them. So we will take these right here. Cub is certainly making himself a ton of diamonds. And I think we'll just fight the one for today, because I am pressed for time. I don't think I've got time to stick around at the farm trying to get some. You see, we went over there during a stream, spent a good half hour or more, and got zero skulls. So I don't feel like doing that again. We will go grab some soul sand, our beacons, and we will go do this. So I'm starting to feel nervous, but we should be fine. We have resistance to regeneration and speed one from these two beacons. Yep, that looks ridiculous, but <laughs> this was the place to put it, as the beacon base was sort of already here for this one, and then I extended it to move that into the centre, so it means I didn't really have to mess around. Now, the last time we fought the wither was over here, so we're going to do it again. This is going to be a quick and easy fight, I'm hoping, and we sort of want to avoid it from going up there. We want to keep it contained down in this area, so let's dig away a little bit of space. Let's put our four blocks of soul sand right there. I can't help but feel it might bust up if there isn't some space just directly above. So we'll clear out a little bit of space here. I also want to just extend this bit right here as I really don't want it getting into that space. So we built a little bit of a shield. We're going to stand back here. We shouldn't take too much damage from that. Let's also eat our food. Let's stand over here and check that the beacon distance goes as far as this. And I believe the number is around. There you go. You saw it all pop back up. So uh, we are going to drink a strength 2 potion and a fire resistance before, then strength two. We've already got regen and we've got an instant health and we should actually probably put our golden apple there. Then we're going to whack this guy with Kevin Baconator. We're not even going to wait for the, um, you know, you shoot it with a bow first. We're just going to go straight onto the axe and with strength two, we should take this guy down. So, fingers crossed that all is in good order here. We do not want this guy getting loose in this area. And what am I doing? I'm drinking my fire resistance potion, placing down that helmet, Helmet? <laughs> it's not a helmet, it's a skull. And now drinking my strength potion. So this is where we stand back, although maybe not too far away. We will take a little bit of damage, then we're going to charge in and try and critical hit this guy. Okay, here we go. And immediately there's water, which I don't want. <laughs> I'm not taking much damage for the looks of it, and I'm spam clicking, which is terrible. I can't see a thing right now. This guy, we've got to keep him down. I need to drink a health potion immediately, and then I need to eat some food. Come on now, I need to regenerate. <laughs> and let's get back in there and whack this guy. This has not gone as quick as I thought it would have. There we go. I'm spam clicking a lot. This is really kind of quite difficult to make out what I'm doing. And I believe he's now dead. 
There you go. That was not as quick as I thought it would be. Slightly more chaotic than I thought it was going to be. And I kept spam clicking. I reckon you could do an even better job. Let's eat some food. That's uh, another interesting thing that changes about the fight. Is that saturation is linked to your health now. So you'll see a hunger haunch pop up very soon. As uh, we've just like you know used all of it to regenerate our health. Um, so yeah, your health drops down in the middle of the fight. There it is. Straight away we've got to eat again. And now I'm withered, which is slightly annoying. Where's the wither star? <laughs> Where is that wither star? I mean, I don't see it. Is it? Is it down? There it is. Excellent, excellent. For a second there, I thought we were going to be super unlucky and not get one. And this water, I thought I'd block this up, but apparently not. A little unfortunate that that came into the mix, but I don't think it really held us back at all, really. And so it's been a successful <laughs> wither fight. We haven't died. And we got ourselves another Never Star. By the way, I was also wearing my Blast Resistance armor, so that makes a huge difference as well. Anyway, we're going to take this second one down here and put this back to normal because we don't really need it. So that is it from me this episode, peeps. Do hope you have enjoyed it and you have enjoyed the news as well. Believe me, it's going to be a big deal for this channel and for making videos. I am just super excited, super stoked, and I hope you can be uh, excited too because this is like the next level for the channel now. I am so so pleased and uh, yeah I guess I owe you again a massive thank you as I said earlier in the video ain't possible without your support so thank you ever so much if you've enjoyed the video leave a like and as always thank you for watching I will catch you next time bye bye